Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And I have a cold, or I have um, some, I don't know what I got to you, too. Hopefully, I ain't got COVID again, but it just is what it is, right? But anyway, I got a little sore throat, got a little sniffles, but I'm bearing through, taking zinc, uh, <clears throat> doing some, uh, we call it vitamin C, <clears throat> and I'm trying to eat and drink lots of fluids. So, y'all be careful out in them streets, we all catching colds and being around people and this, that, and the third. But anyway, I had to drop by Cynthia's house. Uh, I had to go over there for tea and some crumpets and anything else you want to throw my way as far as food. And I just had to go ask. I said, Cynthia, baby girl, I saw something. I saw something on television. And I don't know why. Why you didn't tell me <clears throat> you and your mom were doing a commercial for Omega XL. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, and the city does just don't hit rock bottom, okay? Because this commercial is so cheesy. It's so, uh, what do you call it, uh, low budget and all of that kind of stuff. It's almost like a commercial for has-beens. You know what I'm saying? But I know, Cynthia, I know, Cynthia, you said you have to get that money anywhere you can except for stripping on a stripper pole, okay? You, you say you ain't going into the club and do no stripping. And I'm like, baby girl, we, we don't want to see it either. Because, you know, you got the big ass bud and you might be like autumn in a sense. You know, just sit up there and linger around, not really doing anything. You know, Peter had told us you were lazy. You were lazy in bed. Just like Dennis told us, Portia was lazy in bed. But it's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. I am coming to you to try to understand this situation here. Some of it's kind of funny to me. And I'm like... So you're supposed to be making commercials like this when you're in your 60s, 70s, baby. Uh, but I guess you could, depending on how you took care of yourself, you could have a sore, achy muscles and joint pain. I would see more so that would be in your mother's category. But, hey, she might get around better than I can. But, honey, family, y'all need to go over to just Google. Uh, Cynthia Bailey, Omega Excel vitamin supplements, and you should come up with her picture. Mm hmm. Advertising this wonderful drug, uh, vitamin supplement, and stuff. I mean, Blair Underwood was, um, he did a little skit with it as well. He's promoting it now. I don't know if they promoting it and not taking it. That's two different things. Now, if you're getting the shit for free. You in that age category, Cynthia, you and your, what, 54, 55 years old, you might experience a little ache here and there. The bones might be crickling and crackling, okay, popping. My mom be popping. I don't be crickling and crackling. My mom be popping. But, um, Cynthia, are you really taking this uh, vitamin supplements, girl? It says 100% natural. Okay, and from what the commercial was reading that you were doing, uh, it said, I get a 60-day trial, money back, if I don't like it. I'm like, hmm, okay. Okay, Cynthia, I see where you're going with this. Uh, you don't hit rock bottom, baby, but uh, yeah, get that money any way you can legally. All right, get that money wherever you can legally. But fam, I was like, what in the world going on with Cynthia Ray? Doing some Omega XL vitamin tablets. I said, Lord, they laid it on here horrible. She don't hit rock bottom, Lord. She don't hit rock bottom. But we decree in her favor, Lord, that she come out of this situation and get back to her acting. Because, Cynthia, I was there for you, girl. Was it just too much for you? You couldn't actually 
uh, remember the lines or something? Because I saw you on Lifetime and I was just saying, yay, yay, yay. Something to get it, girl. Something to get it. I mean, there were cameo parts. There were little bits and parts, pieces here and there. But you had potential. So are you going to be like Nene where you think you could just ab lib and just run through uh, whatever you want to say that's kind of the situation that you may be portraying that you're in? I mean, you, you were too lazy, girl. Uh, it was just too much for you. And then it would have been like, okay, you used to model. You don't have anybody in the modeling agency world that can hook you up with spreads and stuff, girl. I mean, you can do catalogs. You got the figure. You got the body. You got the look. Sit there. You're fashion and face all day long, baby. Fashion and face. But I was just downright shocked. I was just bewildered when I saw you in a commercial trying to advertise this Omega XL joint supplement, pain supplement. Girl. I mean, are you going into the holistic field now? I mean, how much do they pay you, Cynthia? Tell us, sister. I want to know. Personally, if you take it, well done. If it works for you, even better, well done. But, uh, yeah, it's like it's joint pain relief pill in a bottle. And you're selling it for, uh, well, you're the face right now of the advertisement of this Omega XL medication. All right? I'm like, but Cynthia, we can go to the local drugstore or hell, Kroger. You know, Kroger grocery store? We can go in there and go into the vitamin supplement page. I'm not page, but uh, uh, we call it aisle. And we can pick us up a, a lot of Omega 3. You know what I'm saying? So what makes this particular product better than going to your local drugstore or grocery store and going in a um, vitamin aisle and picking up something like that. Because I use Nature Own. And it was another one. Um, shoot, I can't think of it right now because it ain't in my face. Let me see. Is this it right here? Yeah, I, I use Nature Owns and Spring Valley. I take some of the Spring Valley D3. Vitamin D and the B12. The Cynthia is trying to put out there, we should be coming over to her platform, who she done partnered with, and um, get these vitamin supplements. And it should help our bones and our joints be a little bit lubricant as well as flexibility. Yes, it says it increases mobility. Now, again, I can see this for your mother, Cynthia. But are you at that stage right now with the um, <clears throat> the joint pain? I mean, you, it's possible. It's possible now. But you ain't doing no hard work your whole life. So the only thing you did was give them face and fashions. You were mostly in the fashion world. So <clears throat> what type of strenuous exercise were you doing when you're doing your modeling, baby? I mean... <sighs> You can't get no modeling, accessorizing, accessory pieces for wardrobes. All the people you know in the fashion industry, you can't do something that you know you're darn good at and look good doing it. You have um, deduced yourself down to Omega XL supplements. I mean, you're their poster child for 2022. I mean, are you going to be doing this 2023? Do you stake your reputation, your life on these products, girl? Because I would hate for somebody to buy them because you rep the company and it's just a bad drug altogether. You, can you see them coming on the YouTube, the media stations and say, well, you know, I like Cynthia Bailey. She seems to be a good character, a good judge of character. And... Uh, I just wanted to take the vitamin supplement because she co-signed on it. She said that it was the way to go. And she's taking it herself. And she's definitely had some easing in her arthritic type joint pain or muscle pain. It helps. But then again, don't the other vitamins that are known by other producers uh, of uh, their product, are they not as reputable and good too? 
I'm like, say that there, girl. Tell us. So you saying we get, we buy one, we get one free. Okay, and then you're saying we could get some D3 for the calcium and stuff. And you're going to give us one drug plus two more for the price of $39.95, girl. All righty. All righty. But I wonder where your mama had went to because uh, in the video that I saw, her mother was advertising along with Cynthia. And Cynthia was in the background. You know what I'm saying? I can see this for your mama. But girl, you don't hear rock bottom when you coming out here. Talking about selling products for $39.95. I'm like, what did you sell your purses for? On your website. They were very nice. But I don't hear anything about them. And I don't see them in the nice department stores. Mm-hmm. But you're saying you want me to buy this $39.95. And your testimony that you gave, it's kind of sketchy. It's kind of sketchy, Cynthia, because you're giving me this tease where you got to get these coins, you got to get these dollars, you got to get these greenbacks so you can have revenue going in instead of monthly revenue going out and you don't have no gig. That's why you you want it fiercely back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta so you wouldn't be a has-been anymore. Because Blair Underwood, he also does this commercial for Omega XL from this particular distributor. Mm-hmm. Girl. I'm like, wait a minute. He ain't been in no movies lately. You see what I'm saying? He was Cedric the Entertainer. He's out there promoting some type of old folks or seasoned folks um, supplement, vitamin supplement. Because he ain't been hitting those um, well, he hadn't been a part of a show or a lineup of different comedians and they're being shuffled around to certain states, you know, to showcase their ha-ha kiki moments and let y'all pay for those um, talents that they do possess while they're on the road and going to each town, each state or whatever, whatever wherever they get people to come out and see their show. But yeah, Cynthia, girl, I'm like, mm, mm. what a mighty, mighty, mighty good time you're having over there with the season, folks. And you don't even consider yourself old. So my thing would be, why would you do a commercial on this stuff? Your mother seems like she could fit it real well. She actually did a very good job from what I saw uh, of a video that y'all had made for this particular distributor. But Cynthia, the question is, baby, how long have you been taking the medication and or you taking the medication or you just basically helping them sell a drug by using your face? Because see, this shit can get a little sticky. When you get got people out there that's, you know, your fans, they loyal to you, got a good loyal fan base, and they try this mess and it end up hurting them more than helping them. You know you can be um, pretty much in litigation. Did you know that, Cynthia? If the shit go wrong, it go bad, you're a part of that. You won't be excluded at all. You'll be wrapped up in one big showcase of a lawsuit. So I'm hoping that the Omega XL is safe for every individual. Or y'all have some guidelines to distract people with certain medical conditions to not get involved mm -hmm. with this particular product. But did, did you check your eyes? Dot your eyes and cross your D's, Cynthia, girl. Because we just don't want to see you wrapped up in any more negativity. Girl. And you know you need to be taking care of mama. I told you, mama would be a great storyline. And it would actually raise more awareness of the cancer of uh, survivors as well as people getting cancer for the first time and they don't know which where to go. You might want to be an ambassador for the Cancer Society. Have you ever thought about uh, putting your name in their ears? Because that's advertisement you can get every day, 365 years with days after the year. Okay? And it can set you up for some other things, but... Since I guess they told you, you you couldn't act, or they told you, we can let you do cameos, but some sometime down the line, we're going to have to have you 
remembering your lies as if you knew them like the back of your hand. And it was just too hard for you, Cynthia. That's what I'm getting. That's what's coming to my mind. But um, mama looked good. Mama looked good. And keep her looking that way, Cynthia. Okay? Because you only get one mom in the world. And it seems like your mom has beat <coughs> cancer at this point. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But child, I, you know, I... I, you know, I, the, the video that you and your mom was in about this particular product, it really didn't give me the uh, idea of going out and getting this particular drug. You see what I'm saying? So I, a lot of people, a lot of drug companies are looking or soliciting, you know, uh, some people in the entertainment industry to see what they, you know, uh, showcase, talk about their particular drug so it can get in the hands of many people versus you picking a person like me going out there talking about this joint pain medicine and how good it is and you're going to enjoy the uh, side effects, which is very none to uh, n null or n uh, null to nothing, meaning you're going to experience something good and wonderful every time you take this medication. Okay. <clears throat> and... Uh, Mm, see, they got the turmeric, they got the vitamin D3, then they got the omega at the top. I see, I see great packaging. Uh, it definitely is appealing to the eye. Um, but in my heart of hearts, Cynthia, I don't think you take this medication. Your mom may be taking it, showing and proving, but she need to be careful. Because she's taking that medication for uh, her her cancer. So, but I, I, I don't know. I know consistency is the key to anything. Weight loss, surgeries, uh, exercising. And they even had, I think it ain't Larry King. That Larry King, y'all. Is he still with us? Is he still on this plane of existence? Or has he floated on up to yonder? I don't know. But he was actually selling this product as well. And y'all remember Miss Cleo, the little reader woman, the medium? <laughs> she was selling stuff herself, too. I mean, is this a sham? Is this a sham, uh, Cynthia Bader? I just want to know, girl. Because you just knocked me off my feet when I saw this. But we'll talk about it later. I know you got to go. Okay, bye-bye.